Hey guys, I'm Emily Powers, and in this video I'm going to be demonstrating how to use the round brush. Um, I think it's a really common brush, and you can use uh, it for many different things. So, there's lots of different sizes you can find rounds in, um, but I'm just going to get one of these real quick here to show you. So, rounds are obviously uh, round at this point and then they come to a point at the end so you can get good lines and things like that. So I'm just going to get some of this color here and so you can do lines and I'm obviously not being super careful with my lines. If you were doing an actual painting and you needed a straight line, you would try to get it a lot more straight. But you can do big lines and then kind of slowly finish them off to be small. So you can do petal shapes and leaves and things like that with this. And if you get a big brush, you can, you know, just kind of fill in large areas of color and you can make dots. So there's just tons of things you can do with this brush. I use a small round, um, this one here, this little tiny one. I use this one for almost every painting for like the small details. Um, putting dots like for highlights and eyes of birds and different animals and just doing the small details so yeah these brushes are really good for doing many different things so I'm going to switch over now to a clip or a few clips actually um, from my other videos showing how I used rounds in a real painting so I'm going to take the white and his body. I'm going to make him a little smaller. So the one flying up here is closest to us. And this one on the ground is the middle sized one. And then the one way far back is the smallest little one. Okay, and then I'm going to get there really dark. And he has a wing right in here. And we just kind of take some medium gray and add it to this side of his head. Shadow it a little bit. And I'm taking the gray and giving it some highlights here and back here. But they're still really dark right here where the neck is before you get to the wing and then I'm going to get that really dark and do the little feet see that's too far apart so I'm going to pick that up Okay, and then since that one's a lot bigger, I'm going to wet my brush and take off some of that color. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the dark and kind of do some side-to-side -side motions like he's 
his feet are in the water and you can't see where they are. And that way it makes it a little easier. You don't have to put in feet. You just give the blurry indication of dark down there. And then for the beak and the eye, you're going to do See, the eye is way too far up there. So the eye is like back. Let's see, we need to lighten that up so you can see it better. Just lighten it a little bit. And then keep the dark right in here. Okay, and get the dark color and do a little dot right behind there. Let's see. And then I'm going to take some of my middle gray and kind of do a little bit of gray in between his beak and his eye. His wing needs to be a little longer. He's kind of got a short body there. And then taking that middle gray and let's see, maybe a little more white with it. Kind of. some texture to it. All right. So now I'm just kind of uh, placing some color and then kind of pulling it with water and my wet brush. Because what's around it is dry already. So Okay, and then I'm going to just brighten up the legs a little. So I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. I do a new video every Friday. So if you want to learn how to paint, I have some beginner tutorials, also some more advanced ones. And I have a playlist that I'm starting, just started, of these little brush tutorials. Um, as I use them in my tutorials, I'll try to put some more of these on here. So thanks for watching. Bye.